Hey guys, good morning. I am sitting in my awesome new chair here that has this awesome little table and it's heated. I put a heater on it. So I originally bought this chair I'm sitting in to put in one of the play spaces because it's like a it's meant for gaming. It's a gamer's chair, but it's a leather rocking chair, basically. Like, I'm leaning back in it, but it leans forward. I don't want to lean forward right now. I'm so comfy. And so I put one of the massage table heaters on it, and then I put a soft cotton um, sheet, and then a satin sheet, and right now I'm covered with a robe and a flannel sheet. I'm so happy! So... Yeah, I love this little spot here. And I am going to put you down and do me with me because I really want to stay here and be comfy and lay here. So I'm going to try to find a new way to do this. I believe in me. Let's see. If I put you in that nook, can you see me? I think I'm in there. I think I need to put you further away. That's kind of what I'm feeling, even though I can't really see. But I have this um, awesome hand, uh, uh, hand mudra toy that I'm going to meditate with this morning a little bit, and I want to show you it. I've been really enjoying sitting in this chair, being in this meditative place. So, all right, I think. That should be good. I hope I'm in there. Okay, I'm over it. So, here's my hand. Oh, God, I love this chair. <laughs> Let's make sure I don't knock over my coffee. So, here's the hand mirror. There you are. Okay. We wave the hand, make sure you can see it. So, it has things written all over it. Um, I can't see those. Um, I can't see a lot of things because I'm blind. <laughs> but um, everything has intention, vibration, and you don't need to see to do magic. You don't, you, you really don't need to see, period. I'm, I'm lost in the physical world. I'm still struggling with this whole blind thing. But anyways, moving on. Um, there, so, I am going to spend time moving this around, and as I move it around, I'm playing with the different words, intentions, phrases, and then the mudras themselves. Like, each hand mudra has a movement, separate from, like, the words that are on this itself. And then after I spend a little while playing with it, and connecting with it, then I position it in the mudra that I want to leave it in um, to just kind of, it's like a, what are those things called? So sandboxes, Zen garden, a little Zen garden, right? You know, you play it there and you leave it, you set intentions. And so I'm going to leave this in a certain hand position to set intentions for myself and what I want to manifest. And um, that's what I'm going to do for my morning meditation. Well, one of them, because I just... I spend so much time here at this temple in meditation. That's kind of my life. And um, I woke up this morning feeling um, really turtly and tired. And, um, like, I wanted to rest a lot. Um yeah I'm not feeling I feel like I've had a lot of social activity and I have a lot of relational stuff going on at the moment and I I need to pull back a little bit and not be around people um, like I've seen I've had human contact every day to me having human contact as a highly sensitive person is a really big deal <laughs> so let's just let me just say that all right so I've had human contact every day for a little while now, so for me that means 
uh, so like today my dear friend from Boston is leaving and so I want to see them one last time before they go and I'm just going to see them for a short period of time and then I think that's all I got in me for human contact today. Um, I feel like, you know, at least until 2. Yeah, maybe 2 o'clock I'll check back in and maybe I'll be in a different place. But I definitely felt like when I woke up this morning that it was Candace. I needed a lot of Candace time this morning um, up until, you know, at least 2. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, and um, then we'll flow from there. But, um, so, have a beautiful, happy day, and um, I look forward to seeing you all when I get to again. I'm dreaming up and putting together, because I talk about these retreats and sessions and all the private work that I do and been doing for eight plus years. And I want to create some more content and wordage to help you understand the work. Um, my website is really great and it has a lot of work because my menu is so extensive and there's so many options. I need more. <laughs> like, here's an example. Oh my God. So I've had the blessed gift in the last month alone. 30 days of having two women reach out to me asking if I would give their lover a session as a gift. Um, and just that ask alone feels so valued. I so, I'm like, when a woman asks me to show up for their lover, for their beloved, for their king, I'm in absolute awe, and I just, I bow to her, you know, and then I bow to her king for her, and uh, I invite her into the process, so she wants to be a part of it, or it can just be me and the king, but um, I had an experience recently where I got to give a double goddess worship, so me and one of my um, apprentices got to gift a uh, dear uh, friend, colleague, fan, follower, student um, had reached out and asked if I would gift, a, they wanted to gift their lover with a session. And I had a print, an apprentice with me at the time. So it's like, yeah, do you want, do you, would you like to gift your lover with a double goddess session? And um, they were a yes. And and then, so it was so beautiful because we spent the majority of that they spent time connecting and uh, they, they showered together first to get like really ready for the session. And me and my friends that were preparing the temple for them were in absolute delight of their giggling and their laughter and the level of compersion that I felt was so amazing that's one of the other pieces of this when I get to show up it for other people's relationships in any way and do relational work or uh, do something for someone for their lover or work with couples in general in any way I get to really play an experience compersion and it's really beautiful um and so yeah we had we got to love on him and then um, she wanted to have a little bit of time for her. And, um, so, <laughs> um, the partner blobbed out after that. I literally like rolled over. It's like, all right, you stay there and you just keep enjoying yourself. And now we're going to love on your queen. And we loved on her for a little while. And then I closed with this beautiful celebratory, uh, chanting mantra of the two of them in their relationship and it was just amazing I'm it was amazing I love I love my work I love all the sessions I love every session I've had over the last eight plus years every opportunity I've had to connect intimately and deeply with different people in different degrees whether it's body work tantra work coaching, energy work, healing work, yoga, 
like my webcam work, um, phone and all my phone work, like really everything I've done, I've learned so much and I've grown so much and I'm so grateful for every person that's made the choice to work with me in any way. Um, you know, every person that has decided that they yeah, I want to work with me because I've just, over the last eight years, when I think about all the people from all over the world that I've had the opportunity to connect intimately with, it just blows my mind and it tickles the fuck out of my heart and I feel so blessed. Like, I really wouldn't have it any other way. I feel like I have, like, the best life ever, the Tantra life, the dakini life the temple life i love my life i love a life in service i love being in service it feels good to me there's a gift there's magic i love the art of navigating giving receiving sharing exchanging you know all those beautiful energies and how we do <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go and finish playing with my hand mudra and chilling in my awesome, heated, sexy rocking chair. And remember, you can come hang out in this awesome, sexy, heated rocking chair with me. Head on over to Tantric, 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 however you want to say it, Paths, like the ones you walk. Dot com. That's my actual website. The details and the services pages are the two pages that lay out, that give you the baseline of my private session work that you, that those are required reading pages if you want to do any private session work with me. And then we have a phone conversation to get into the really unique, personalized kind of details of what you want to do. So, yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Find a way to celebrate and enjoy your home wherever you are and templify and be comfy. It's really important to be comfortable in your own home. And that's one of the other services I offer is I go to people's homes. Or you can send me a video. Um, I have a client that uh, she sent me uh, videos of her home. And I take it in and process it energetically and visually and um, tell her how I feel like she could really create what she wants in her life through how her home's designed. And she even hired an interior decorator. So it's like she's working with me and the interior decorator together in creating her home for herself and her family and her beloved and her children and, you know... How do you create a home that's, that really has space for highly intentional, conscious being in the space, right? Yeah. Templifying! I love templifying. All right. Bye, guys. Mwah.